up boys so we're back with some new cane gameplay it's something i've been doing for quite some time and i recommend every single one of you do it so we're gonna be going red cane and no that's not the secret tech that we've been doing we're gonna be going red cane and our max order is gonna be what is unique so we're gonna be putting three in queue for our first form and our early game and our clear and our early skirmishing and then we're going to max a w and then we're gonna max E, and then we're gonna max R, Q, and then R. And the reason why you're not gonna straight up max your ult and straight up max your Q is because when you go your red form, they actually do not give you any bonus damage. They just lower the CD. And you know, as much as it's nice to have a lower CD, having more damage and having a lower CD on your CC and your sustain and your mobility is way more important. Way more important. So, you guys already know the clear Ruthless Aggression Era is here. And a lot of you are probably thinking maybe this isn't as useful because the season is coming to an end, but I can very much assure you that I will still be playing the Ruthless Aggression Clear. Obviously a little bit different with how the changes are going to come. And I'm also going to be playing with the 3Q Max W Max E strategy for Red Cane. So don't feel like this is going to be outdated. Don't feel like you know everything's going to just complete 180 because it's not. Or at least in this sense, you know, our pathing and our skill order is going to be very similar next season. So... Don't feel too discouraged watching this, thinking, oh, everything's going to change. I am very excited about change, and don't worry, I'll have a lot of videos coming out about change, and I'll probably have a guide, and I have a lot of other new bright ideas that I'm very excited to show you guys, but let's keep it into this game right now. So, Udir is starting, Raptor is pathing up, hopefully they don't put a ward. I don't want to die, they're way too healthy. I mean, it's possible, but ah, it's very risky. And the thing is, they don't have the wave fully shoved in. It's more risk than reward. I'm going to ping out over here because that's where we should be. I'm going to farm my red then get all my top sides. So a lot of people, they ask, oh, well, what happens if, you know, the enemy jung, uh, or if, if you can't fight a bot gank? And doesn't the enemy jung just get your red and Krux? Well, no, you can take your red. I go get all my top side. And I, the only camp I'm going to skip here is my sucky wolves. I will tell you something, though. If Udir... Sorry, if Udir is in my top side right now, I'm gonna get absolutely yeah, because Riven has a rotation. Let's see, we'll see. I hope it's not. Oh, he is. Oh no, this is bad. He's on my Gromp right now. Not horrible, but not good. We need to rotate first. What? Why is no one coming? Boy, do I wish Swain listened. Nice. Yeah, one for one, not bad. If he would have moved immediately, we would have just killed them both immediately, but it's fine. It happens. Was oh, this a lot of orbs? I can go invade his raptors right now because he started raptors and I can go get my two bot side cams. So I will get a bit of a CS advantage here. See, a lot of what people don't understand is that this playstyle is like a really good way. Oh, 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 oh. I thought he was gonna go for the scuttle there. That's surprising. And then Varus is moving mid. What the hell is this macro? Hmm. Well, I can get both scuttles now. Not bad. A quick little double scuttle. Yeah, I'm gonna go long here. I had to flash that, otherwise I'm just dead. Now we get Skittle. So see, look how aggressive you can be with this clear. This is the main strength of this clear. This is the main strength of this playstyle. And notice that your most important ability for the early game is your Q, so also just a little food for thought on that. That's why I put three in Q and then I started max my W. Ooh, and now we're in a terrific state of the game, boys. A terrific state. Because another thing that you need to realize is that Udir destroys K to the early game. Like, hardcore destroys. No chance about it. You can't do anything in this matchup. Oh, he's here. He's here. You're going to look for the dive right now. But yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just a brutal matchup from start to finish. Nice. 
I live. Got my camp too. <laughs> not bad at all. Not bad at all, boys. Watch out. Odir is there, but luckily Giga Mord has his ult. Did another word about nothing. What was I saying before I got rudely interrupted by this man's invading? So, the thing about Udir is that he is a champion that excels in the early game and he falls off really hard in the mid to late. So, for me to be able to build this advantage, not necessarily in the CS, but just presence on the map, and that kind of skyrockets the process of me actually outscaling because my laners are going to be stronger. And if they're stronger and more self sufficient, and I'm backing them, Udir can't really like force his lanes to win anymore. Like, that's kind of what he needs to do because Udir doesn't scale to carry off himself. He scares, scales to carry through his laners. I could scale either either or, you know? Like, I'm a pretty OP champ, I must say. Ow. All right, well, I set that up for Swain, and Swain is a demon in this situation, I would like to point out. Wait, I just realized it's Chen Chen. Chen Chen, my boy! Oh, he died, though. Actually, it was kind of bad for us, to be honest. But I mean, uh, it's not horrible for me. It's bad for us overall, but not bad for me individually. Because I get a lot of orbs. And I am scalers. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's good. Creating shutdowns. I ran straight to the objective here, because I just want to put a good board on this, because this guy might look for it. The objective, that is. Yeah, I could probably look for a mid play here. If this guy stays and pushes. I doubt he will, though. I doubt he will. Got form. Got form for the dragon even spawn. Sweet. All right. I know I want to get the dragon, but I want to make sure that I don't lose my top side camps here because I am gonna fall very, 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 very far behind in gold next P. And you do not want to fall, fall behind in gold next P. Even though I do have my form, which is way higher value to get this first. I'd be willing to trade the dragon just to make sure I can get my top side camps here. Okay, so most of the time when you're level five, level six, that's when you're gonna get your form, especially with summon areas, because you're getting your form so fast. So at this point, this is where you would want to start maxing W. Obviously, after you level up your ult, it's not like your ult is useless. It's just leveling it doesn't do anything. It just lowers the CD. It doesn't give you any extra damage. Same with leveling Q. Even though it looks like it does, it actually doesn't, because it's percent health damage base, and you can't change the percent health damage. You can just lower the CD of it. But like I said, it's not bad to lower the CD of it. It's just not as valuable as like maxing W or maxing E. And this is something that's been done by people for a long time. And the only time where I like to like, what am I call it, max my Q was when like Gore Drinker was relevant or when Prowler's Claw was relevant. Because we're going to Eclipse, I think it's actually better to max our W now. It's because you're more likely to stay on them and hit them with your Q more often. All right. Now we're formed. Another little uh, fun fact about this game is that this new Varus build where it goes like Blade the Rune King into Radiant, you're able to hard counter because all the percent health damage that you're gonna deal. So it's actually better to go red than blue here for damage, believe it or not. I'm sure that they can't see Nada here. And that's why we upgrade the format of Fountain, boys. And that's why you upgrade the format of Fountain, boys. Look how fast I was there. Look how fast I was, dude. I didn't just get the dragon. I'm going straight for the dragon because I assume Udir's on the rift. So it's better to just go for this now. Even though I know it is kind of risky if he's not on the rift because I don't have smite. But no, honestly, I, I'm pretty sure he's on the rift. If I'm wrong, then he can take the dragon all he wants. But I also have Nautilus to hover, so we'd, we'd kill him before he came. If you don't have smite, never try and burst it down. Just run off and go kill them. Sweet. He wasn't even on rift. What's he doing? I, he might take it now, but yeah. Oh, and he's just farming. Yeah, see, that's what a lot of these junglers do whenever they get invaded. They just kind of like tunnel in on farming. because That's like the main way that they know how to play is farming. So when you throw off their CSing, it, it really messes with them. Oh, I could definitely gank this right now. Oh, she gave me the kill. Oh, how sweet. 
It's gone. It's gone, it's gone. We could go defend my camps though. Yeah, see, notice I'm just like helping win the lanes a lot better than he is. Don't worry, I promise you I will outscale the deer. just ults anybody. Oh, beautiful. The way they went for this play when they saw Nautilus in topside. Oh, nice. I probably shouldn't have ulted her. I just want to make sure that she died, though. Oh. Oh, the, dude, this Nautilus is a beast. They just spoon-fed me those kills. Good job, boys. Yeah, that's pretty huge. See, a lot of people think that I path like this because I'm just going for CS, but your CS is only important with what you do with it. Like, if I have a CS advantage and all I do is build more CS advantage, then that's useless. But if I have a CS advantage and I use that to get, like, a rift or a dragon or a gank or a play, anything, you know, it's great. So right now we have Eclipse, and this is, you know, my favorite Mythic for Redkin. Next season, it's going to be a little bit interesting with itemization. I still do like the Eclipse Cleaver synergy next season. I've tried it a good amount. I'm going to test a lot of red builds, though, so... You know, just keep in mind that the next best red build um, is still to be determined. But I feel comfortable with, like, Eclipse Cleaver even in the next season. But just keep in mind, next season, you can't go Cleaver Grudge. You can only go one, either or. But we're going to stick with Cleaver. This game, I'm going to be building Cleaver Grudge. Because, I mean, we're still in Season 13. I love this energy. Why not, right? Why not? But I think this game is a perfect testament to how you do not always need to, like, hyper fixate. over every single objective. Wow, he actually almost killed both of us. <laughs> yeah, without that cleaver, I'm a little bit weak. I'm also under X speed as well. I'm the same level as the ADC. You always tell if you're under X speed if you're the same level as the enemy ADC. A little uh, heads up for ya. Alright, so now we're gonna have our W almost fully maxed. So at level 10, you're gonna have W fully maxed, and then level 14, you're gonna have your E fully maxed. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Love ours. Ha, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I just let her finish him. I will promise you guys, you will notice the strength of maxing W first immediately because everyone I know that's done it is like, wow, I am so much stronger in team fights. Because like I said, having your CC up, it's red more readily available and also just dealing more damage because look how much damage you get from leveling this. Like what, a bonus like almost 60 damage per level? Well, 45, 45 damage per level. Pretty good, pretty good. Look at him run. Like he wastes his ghost before the objective spawns just to get a gromp. Too hyper fixated on, on, on CS. CS is nice to get, but if you can't do anything with it, like if your team's just dying and repeat. By the way, this was Pierce Mine, we would yeah, unironically win this game. Hope you are anyway. No, damn it, fake. Thanks for the reason. Are you excited for this season? Yeah, I'm hitting course. Emerald this year. That's my goal. Got any big solo queue goals planned for the new season? Uh. Any big solo key plans? Oh man, no ults. I just got one shot, my bad. 800 gold they gave to Varus there, that's horrible for me. Uh, any big plans? Uh, just that challenger again. This is my eighth year in a row I've ended challenger, so two more. Two more, and I, I hear they give you free breakfast at Denny's. So that'd be pretty cool. 
Oh, I love it, Callista. Callista, my beloved. You're amazing. You're wonderful. I just get the dragon. Yeah, I find that Varus was a real humbling experience. I mean, he has nine kills. It makes 100% sense why he's killing me because he's early going for like a tankyish build. And half my percent health damage obviously comes from my Q, but the other half from my ult, and I didn't have my ult. So if I had ult, I'd kill him easily. The no ulti! Do I go for the 50 50? Oh, wait, I can't because he has tier 3 smite. I have tier 2. He's not even coming. He's not coming. He's just CSing. <laughs> Okay, Rift in 20. Looks good, looks good. Cleaver is a massive power spike, by the way. It's probably your biggest power spike. Grudge is nice to enhance that Cleaver, but Cleaver just makes you go insane with the damage, boys. Insane! I'm gonna get Rift. Rift is kind of a low value objective, but if you still have T1 towers up like this one, you can take it. Not horrible. Oh, I'm coming. Just try to zone them some more and like come. boys huge I had to play that fight very slow for my boys free Denny's for life would be sick yeah I'd actually like that but I'm <laughs> gonna give me anything for any 10 years chow Can you imagine if Riot came out like an award for that dude I would love that so much I would literally frame it dude I would I, would, I like cherish it for the rest of my life I already got Challenger rewards though with the backpacks and like the, the shirts and the jackets and stuff in the past. But like, and your Challenger? Or at least like be put in the Hall of Fame one day. Probably not, there's so many legendary league players. All right, we got Cleaver. Now we get Grudge. I never cared to learn how to say the Grudge. Let's see, it's Sorelja's. That's why I always called it Tereldas. Tereldas. Huh. 17, 3, and 7. Callista, I like it. Alright. Max Nari all the way, boys. Wait for that CC, knock him up. And this is Tank Varus, by the way, keep in mind. Not so tank. <laughs> Present health damage is sweet, baby. GG. Well, this is a fun one, boys. Hope you enjoyed. I'm sure all of you, wait, what the hell, Rift doing damage? Rift, you useless sack of potatoes. Wait, I want, to, I want her to dance. No, minions, you. I'll avenge you, Rift. Every single one of them will die. All right, GG's. Hope you boys enjoy it. Make sure to max W, max E, then max R. GG. Peace out, YouTube.